What's up everyone? I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the Blue Eddy AC200 Max portable power station. And what sets this one apart from the competition is this little plug right here. Because right now, this power station is powering this. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by The More Expo, the Midwest's number one adventure travel consumer expo. Artemis Overland Hardware. They have one of the largest selections of overlanding gear available. Big Iron Overland Rally, where Overland Expo meets music festival. Shop Overland Apparel, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. Open Road Four Wheel Drive, makers of affordable, high quality winches and recovery gear. Outback RV of Texas, the best place for Overland Adventure trailers. And Moon, makers of the Moonshade Portable Awning. The AC200 Max is a pretty significant upgrade over the previous AC200P. It's got a lot of different things going on inside this. Um, this one is a 2048 watt hour power station with a 2000 watt pure sign inverter that can, that can peak at 4800 watts. So when you, you know, plug something into it, it surges, it, you know, if, as long as it doesn't exceed 4,800 watts, it, it, it'll do just fine. The key thing that makes this power station crazy awesome is this plug right here. It is a 30 amp output plug. And as you can see, um, my, my Conquer here, it actually has a 50 amp plug. So I've got a 50 amp plugged into a 50 to 30 amp uh, adapter here, plugged into the AC200 Max. And I'm, I'm powering my Conquer right now. Um, and so this is a fantastic option. So if you are going out, you know, off grid for an extended period of time in a, a trailer like this one that has a, a 30 amp hookup or even one that has, you know, just regular, um, you know, just a, a regular wall plug hookup, this can radically extend the amount of time that you can spend off grid without having to recharge if it happens to be, you know, cloudy and overcast, rainy. This allows you to spend more time off grid and have power. My Conqueror comes with two 100 amp hour batteries. So doing the math, about 2,400 uh, watt hours, comparing apples to apples. So about 2,400 watt hours. This is an additional 2,048 watt hours. So bringing this with me, I'm effectively doubling the capacity for me to live off grid in my trailer without having to worry about recharging, without having to worry about solar. We actually used it this past weekend at Rendezvous in the Ozarks and it worked great. It was absolutely fantastic having the Conqueror plugged into this because I didn't have to worry about it. It just worked so well. And if this is not enough power, you can add Blue Eddy's B230 and connect this to this and double the capacity of this. So with this combination, I've got over 4,000 watt hours of power. And if that's not enough, you can add a second one of these and have over 6,000 watt hours of power in this little portable package here. Now I'm not gonna lie, this, these are not you know just super easy, lightweight things to carry around. This weighs 61 pounds. Uh, this is slightly less than that, but they have the exact same battery, so not a whole lot less. But it's just absolutely awesome to be able to have that much power and take that much extra power with you when you're out off-grid for an extended period of time. So let's go through uh, the details of the AC200 Max. As far as output ports go, 130 amp port, four, you know, just regular home plug 110 outlets there. It has a total of four USB-A ports, one 100 watt USB-C port. So this will have no problems keeping your, 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 your high-end laptop, your MacBook Pro um, running while you're uh, out off the grid or if in case of a power outage or something at home, yeah, it, it won't be a problem. It has two uh, 5.5 millimeter, 12 volt, uh, 10 amp, DC ports there. It's actually got a 30 amp DC port here. You have to have a little adapter thing to plug stuff into that. And then it's got your standard 10 amp uh, car cigarette lighter style 
adapter there. On the side here is where all your inputs come from. You've got your standard uh, barrel plug for your wall charger. This is where you connect one or two B230 uh, power modules into it to, to expand the capacity. And this is your DC input. You've got uh, a plug in here that connects to your solar panels. Or you can even you know, charge it from your car, uh, cigarette lighter, if you, uh, you, know, if you need to. But uh, that's, where, that's where that goes. And then on top, you've got two 15 watt wireless charging pads that when you, uh, you know, just take any modern phone that does wireless charging and set them on there, boom, they start charging. So that's a handy little feature to have. And I love the fact that this is a nice flat top so you can stack things on top of it. I, okay, I, I did actually use this as a step. I actually stood on this to reach something on top of my Conqueror this weekend. And it, it, it did real well. I don't recommend using it as a step, but in a pinch, it worked for me. From a charging perspective, from a, a wall outlet, this thing will charge at 500 watts. So, you know, a 2000 watt hour power station charging at 500 watts, you can have this charged in, you know, just over four hours. So not bad at all. From solar, you can connect, you know, just with the one uh, port that it comes with, you can connect up to 900 watts of solar input. And if you happen to be in a situation where you can combine the solar and the AC, this will double charge from that so you can recharge this at a whopping 1400 watts, uh, which is crazy fast. Now that is a, that is a lot of solar panels to, to have, but you know, maybe if you, if, you know, you could put 900, solar, 900 watts with a solar on top of a, you know, a van or an RV, small RV, that sort of thing. Um, so it, it is realistic to do. They actually have an adapter, which, which I don't have, that allows you to plug in an additional 500 watts of solar into the barrel port here for the wall outlet, allowing you to charge this with 1400 watts of solar, which is just bonkers, absolutely bonkers. Now, like I said, that's, that's a crap ton of solar panels, but it's doable. I mean, it's, it's, it's actually, I mean, it's, it's realistic. So to just do a quick check of the solar charging of the um, AC200 Max, I've got it connected to one of Blue Eddy's PV200 solar panels. These things are fantastic. And uh, right now in a, you know, pretty clear skies, there's a little bit of a haze. Uh, currently getting 100 and, 165, 170 watts coming in from this panel, which is pretty darn good. Considering that, uh, you know, just right out of the gate, this thing gonna take 900 watts of solar. Wish I had a couple more of these to, to, to stack up and uh, may have to look into getting a couple more of these because they're great solar panels. Uh, they're, they're quite efficient. And I, I would really like to be able to, to maximize the solar input of this thing when I'm out uh, off grid. This does have lithium iron phosphate chemistry in the batteries, so it has a whopping 3,500 life cycles on this thing. So this thing's going to last you a very long time, and that's before it hits, you know, drops to 80% capacity, not just dead altogether. So uh, 3,500 is a lot of, of cycles on a, a power station like this. And they do include a very impressive four-year warranty uh, for the AC200 Max. Another great feature of the AC200 Max is the Blue Eddy app that you can use to connect to it. So you just open the app, connect to your AC200 Max, and you get all the important details, your inputs, your total outputs. You can control uh, and turn on and off your AC bank and your DC bank. You can go in and check the details of this battery. And if you have the, the B230s connected to it, you can check on the status of each one of those as well. We were using this this weekend at Rendezvous in the Ozarks and we brought our Starlink so we could have internet access while we were there to check on the weather. My wife wanted to be able to watch the football game while I was teaching classes. And uh, so we had major storms rolling in one night. And you know, before I went to sleep, just wanted to do one last check of the radar to check on the storms. And when I was done, wanted to turn Starlink off so it wasn't just you know, running all night. And instead of having to get up, go outside, you know, push the buttons and turn, 
you know, and, and turn Starlink off from here, I was able to, uh, you know, just open my app and toggle the AC off and boom. Now the AC's off and I did that from the comfort of my bed under my covers uh, where I was nice and warm and cozy and didn't have to get out and, and do this outside. So um, it, it worked great and I was much appreciative of that feature. In the box with the AC200 Max, you get uh, the power brick that I said, 500 watts from the power brick with the, with the barrel connector there. And then you get a, a handy dandy little, little carry bag that has your, your other cords in here. Um, you got your, this is your, your, your main adapter. This plugs into that outlet right there. And then from this, this is an XT90 connection. You've got your solar panel connectors there. Like I said, we used this uh, this past weekend. And uh, then you've got your cigarette lighter, 12 volt DC input if you do want to you know, charge this on the go to help top it off. I mean, you're only gonna get 100 watts max out of this in a 2000 watt power station. But if you've only used a little bit of this and just wanna top it off, that's a, you know, that, that actually gets the job done. Now, everybody wants to know, what all can something like this power? And the answer is almost everything. Um, with 2,048 watt hours and a 2,200 watt inverter, uh, I mean, with the exception of, you know, maybe your, your very large appliances like your, your washer, like your dryer, um, this thing will pretty much run them all. I mean, I can go through the house and, and demo everything, but, it, but it's gonna run it all. I mean, your microwave, On high, 1,750 watts, not a problem. Will it keep your home fridge running for a while? Easy. Need to cook something in your air fryer? Not a problem. Need to use a hair dryer at camp after you, you know, take a shower or go for a swim or whatever. On high, no problem. So if it can handle all of that, it can handle anything you're gonna throw at it at camp. So in addition to being fantastic for off-grid living or, or extended off-grid trips, this is a, a great option for home, you know, emergency preparedness, uh, power outage, backup, that sort of thing. Uh, this thing would be fantastic in that sort of situation. So if you would, uh, there's a link in the description. This is currently on sale right now for $17.99. Uh, which is a lot of which is a lot of cash, but uh, for one like this, that puts it at about 88 cents per watt hour, which is uh, which is really the sweet spot. A lot of yeah, a lot of power stations will eke over that dollar a watt hour, and this one coming in at 88 cents a watt hour, um, that's very respectable. That that that's a good deal in the in the power station world. So if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to help any way I can. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Uh, check out our Patreon if you like what this channel's doing and you wanna you know, support and give back and gain access to uh, special content and events that we put on, all of our GPS data, that, that's through our Patreon. And for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise, like my, uh, my Jeep shirt here, this is Jeep because no one, uh, because no one likes, um, because no one likes taking bypasses. Um, go to shopoverlandapparel.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.